What's up guys, Enos here again, bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 video. Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Although, it may not be the weekend for some of you guys, depending on when you get off work. <clears throat> Sorry. been still trying to get over whatever in the world that I caught. I don't know if it was a cold or the, the plague, I don't know. Whatever it was, <laughs> it was not fun, and I'm still kind of congested and crap. But, uh, it's slowly going away. But enough about me and my Yucasy stuff. Uh, this video is going to be somewhat focused on the M8. Uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I haven't used it a whole lot enough to really feel like I'm comfortable enough to give a solid, solid weapon review on it. Uh, you know, with class setups and things like that. But I do want to let you guys know I have used this gun. And this is the first game that I've used this gun is what you're watching. And, uh... I unlocked it. I immediately made a class for it. I have no attachments for it or anything. I've only picked it up off the ground like twice. And even then, you're getting whatever attachments you happen to pick up, which is sometimes like the stupidest things ever. But, um, you know, the, the start of it's a little shaky just because I was. I've never liked the iron sights on the M8. Um, I don't know what I was doing right there. That was dumb. I've watched that like three times. Every time I've thought, what world was I doing? But, um,. I've never liked the iron sight, so my aim's a little dodgy at first, but it gets a little bit better as the game goes along. Um, but the M8 did get a buff in the last patch. Um, the fire rate got increased, and with the Gorgon getting nerfed out the Yin Yang, um, I feel like this is probably the second most OP gun in the game right now. Uh, only behind the Argus shotgun. The Argus shotgun is absolutely... OP is crap, man. That thing is like a flipping sniper with a slug round in it, man. It's ridiculous. It's worse than the rim. It's like it has the spread of the Remington in Black Ops 2 with the range of the KSG. Like that's my best way to describe that gun. Um, the M8A7, in my mind, performs almost exactly like the M8A1 in Black Ops 2. The only difference being you'll get more one burst kills at longer ranges. Um, I feel like it gets basically the same amount of hit detection up close and you know the same amount of damage up close, things like that. Um, you're still going to have the same inconsistencies when it comes to you'll get one burst at extremely long ranges, but you'll get you know two full bursts into somebody at close range and then die. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but overall, I feel like this gun is extremely OP. The hip fire on this gun seems to be a little bit better than some of the other assault rifles. I don't know if that's 100% correct. It just seems like it is. Um, maybe it's just because it's it shoots so fast you can spray the bullets out a little faster and land more than you think you are. I don't really know. All I know is this thing, up close, long range, mid range, whatever, it's going to melt if you can land the bullets. Um, like, I don't know what else to, to say about it other than it's just, it seems extremely OP. Right there's, you know, an idea of the hip fire. Like, even with submachine guns, I would I would not feel too awful comfortable backing up on the stairs hip firing like that. Um, you can see right there, I got that jumping double kill. And I honestly didn't see the second dude. I just fired a second burst because I really didn't think the first one would kill the first dude and landed a double kill off of it, so I recorded it um, in the little Xbox 30 second record load of crap. Um, that's a whole other topic. I'm not going to get into the issues with Xbox, but uh, <laughs> but um, this gun is it's, it's solid. It has very little recoil. Um, it seems to kick a little bit less than guns like the Man of War. Um, probably about the same as the ICR. Uh, I don't know if you guys have really noticed it much, but some guns do kick more than others, or I guess flinch is a better way to put it. They flinch more than others when you get shot. Um, the Man of War flinches an ungodly amount compared to some of the other guns like the, the, uh, crap the ICR that's what I was trying to think of the ICR the KN they don't seem to flinch a whole lot when you get shot um, the HVK is probably a little bit under the man of war and this one seems right about the same as the ICR to me uh, 
Uh, now that is just my feel. That is not, you know, tested statistics or anything. But, you know, it it is, it does seem to flinch a little bit less. And when you put foregrip on this thing, there's no doubt that you're not going to pick people off of head glitches with it. Um, now I will say it's a little bit easy. I'll say it's a little bit easier if you're getting shot to pick them off of head glitches without foregrip. Because this gun doesn't kick much to start with, and when you get shot, it will flinch into their head almost every time, and you'll get a kill basically every time you hit their head. Um, but if if you're at long range and you're trying to pick somebody off of a head glitch and they don't really know you're there, um, it's going to be a little bit easier with foregrip, obviously. Um, but. I haven't really come up with a good class setup for this yet. Uh, I've only unlocked like four grip, red dot, and quick draw. I don't think I've unlocked anything else yet, but I'll try to get one of those up within the next week or so. Hopefully, hopefully I can get that up. Um, I should have one for the XR2 that can go up within the next week to two weeks. I'm going to try to start pumping out some of those instead of just gameplay type things. You guys can see uh, our Rogue Bludger's gameplays. You can see, you know, other people's gameplays you can see some of our you know some of my gameplays um but i want to start getting some of the more in-depth things like class setups gun attachments things like that what guns you guys should be looking out for um i would have said the xr2 is a is a top tier assault rifle but with the slight decrease on fire rate it's a little bit less of a top tier and more of a, a situational gun now so you kind of have to be a little bit more careful with it. But it is still a solid weapon. So I'm going to try to get out one on that. I'll try to get one on the HVK-30. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that that is one of the better assault rifles now. And it is. It's a very solid assault rifle. So hopefully I can get one out for that. I'll try to hit up some of the subs like the VMP, the Pharaoh. I really like the Pharaoh. Um, the Vesper is one of the better assault, ri or assault rifles. One of the better submachine guns according to a lot of the professional players. I, on the other hand, dislike it. I think a Rogue Bludger does too. Uh, but I'll get into that more when I do the actual uh, gun review videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great weekend. And uh, be safe. Don't do anything stupid. And <laughs> peace out, guys. Oh, by the way, double XP this weekend. Take advantage of it in multiplayer and zombies. Peace.